हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम हर्षदा एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज मस्ट हैव इन योर सी वी बट इन योर एंड ऑफ लॉ स्कूल सो वट आई मीन बट इन योर एंड ऑफ लॉ स्कूल इज बेसिकली योर एंड ऑफ फोर्थ योर ऑफ लॉ स्कूल बिकॉज दैट्स वैन योर रिक्रूटमेंट और योर प्लेसमेंट स्टार्ट और दैट्स वैन यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग फॉर जॉब्स सो दैट यूर सिक्योर्ड इन योर फिफ्थ ईयर ऑल्सो माई प्लेसमेंट्स आर ऑन द कॉर्नर सो आई हैव मेड अ फ्यू एप्लीकेशन so i have understood what firms might be looking for also because my seniors who got recruited and talked to your law firms i'd asked for the cvs to understand what firms are looking for and what a good looking cv should have so yeah without further ado let's dive right into the video so first things first let's start with education so your education column basically has your grades your past education your high school so try having a good gpa you can't do anything about the marks you had in um your high school or till your class 12 uh, but you can surely make sure you have a decent amount of marks um uh, in your law school so make sure like your gpa is good other than that in education if you have done any other course um say cs or uh, given any other exam competitive exam or if you've gone for any exchange programs or you've done any summer schools abroad that is also a good addition to your cv okay so next is the internship experience column so this is really important because uh it actually gives kind of an overview of what type of internships you've had and uh, what kind of experience you have if you're a person who wants to go for corporate or solely for litigation make sure that your cv kind of looks like that like in the first glance it gives the impression that yes you're looking for a corporate job or you're looking for um something in litigation or something like that and also if you're applying to a firm where you've previously interned that also gives you a good edge firstly you have to understand what you want and your internship experience should look like that but obviously if you're still not sure what you want to do you can always experience and explore do different areas of internship at different places so that you understand what you want to do but by the end of third year uh make sure you know what you want to do because that will help you in the future when you set for placements so the next column is publication So um in your law school try doing research internships with your professors or try doing some research project with your professors professors are always working on some or the other research project and they're always uh publishing something so if you have a good rapport with your professor uh ask them if you can assist them or help them with any sort of research requirements that they might have this uh gives you a good addition to your cv and if that paper actually gets published that's really good for you having publications shows that you have a knowledge about the area of law you're writing upon so the next is moot courts recently i interned at cam and cam has their own specific questionnaire that they circulate uh, before uh hiring someone for internships so in that they had a separate column for moot courts they also have other columns for other competitions but i feel that firms give some sort of a uh, favor to moot court competitions debating and area competitions also have a really high significance in your cv but i've always seen that moot courts have a dedicated and specific column so make sure that you have a variety of competitions that you've uh, participated in in your law school and make sure some of them are also moot courts if you're obviously interested in negotiations and alternate dispute resolution make sure to participate in those competitions don't just do moots just for the sake of it and if you're not interested obviously focus on your interests but what i'm trying to say here is have a variety of competitions or have at least some competitions that you've done uh in your law school and make sure that some of them are at a good national or an international level because that really changes the perspective of the person who is hiring or the person who is looking at your cv so the next one is probably co curricular or extra curricular activities here you can write about the other other accomplishments you have you've had in law school uh probably if you founded something founded a society in your college or that you've been a member of the society in your college at a really high position say the board member or a convener or something like that or probably it's a journal and you're you're an editor or or a senior editor any other competitions that you might have entered into should also be a part of this area it's basically what are the things that you've done in law school that are worth mentioning and have not been previously covered 
this area also should have the mention of any other club that you've been part of um say um legal aid society or a legal aid clinic or a debating society another good addition to your cv can be any seminars or presentations that you might have done any paper that you might have presented or any seminar that you might have participated in that really gives a good addition to your cv and last would be any certificates that you might have received or um something that you have done something different that you've done that others might not have done and languages and hobbies are of course uh, a part of your cv so what i'm trying to say here is that um even i never understood the importance of having papers published uh, in your cv until like recently because i never paid that much attention to publishing papers uh but yes it really does make a difference other than that i never really uh, thought of being a member of say a uh, student representative society or my college's placement cell or something like that but if someone has that on their cv it really does make a good impression i mean it's okay if you don't have it but just just the fact that you have it are good additions to your cv and and might give you an edge mainly what your cv should show is that you did attempt to do as much as you could in law school uh, you were an intelligent and a bright student who did participate in variety of xyz competitions or variety of xyz internships and you learned this and that it should not show that you were a person who was very lazy your cv should show that you're hard working yeah so um I think yeah that's about it and if I think of anything else I'm going to put it down in the comments and if you have any questions make sure to put them in the comments I'd love to answer them and yeah these are some things that you must have in your CV so that you can ensure a good job for yourself at the end of law school and yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video okay bye